Cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Stephanie Thorpe. And I'm Paula Rhodes. Hi. We uh, are the creators of ElfQuest Today and Imagining, and we're here to give you a little behind the scenes look at that today. So it's a story of a tribe of elves who are driven um, from their forest home by humans and they are forced to trek across deserts and uh, quest, to try to quest, if you, if you will, an elf quest to find a new home and along the way they encounter other tribes of elves that they didn't know existed and encounter trolls and more humans along the way. And it, type creatures exactly, and really it's little girl's dream. Uh, well, Paula and I have been fans of the comic book series since we were both eight years old, little yes. girls, and uh, yeah. we grew up loving it. So how did you find the series? Uh, okay. Well, I have a, a little sister, Karen, who, um, on her way to arriving in this world, uh, had concerned me. I was very, very worried as a, as a little little Paula that uh, my <laughs> a dad and I would never have any Paula dad time anymore. So he took me to a comic book store and was like, pick out anything you want, and then every month or, that it comes out or every so often, we'll go and we'll have you know special Paula daddy date and we'll be able to get this. And so I'm looking around all these shelves of the amazing pictures and um, zeroed in on this one, on I think the, the fourth book, uh, that fourth actual like comic book. Um, that came out and like zoomed right for it and was like, elves, this one. <laughs> uh, so Indiegogo was a really successful campaign for us. So we were super scared to post it up on the site, but um, once we did, we were incredibly overwhelmed by uh, the fans of the series that came out of the woodwork. Um, it's been around 35 plus years. From all over the world, they donated uh, to this cause. And, uh, and and brought new fans to it, I think, too, because people that hadn't been aware of it, but were either fans of ours or friends of exactly. ours or fans of girls in this that we'd already cast um, came out and supported in droves. Exactly. And then uh, Liz Miller's article was picked up by the New York Times. And that helped. That helped a lot. Um, and that just generated more buzz. And we made our budget goal in a couple of weeks, which yeah, we were... One week of the goal, and then beyond that, a little bit for the, by the time the month run was over. But we were in a tizzy. I mean, this was a job mm -hmm. for us from six to nine months, or however, yeah, however long we did it. <laughs> Since <laughs> August maybe. 2010 yeah. uh, until now, April 2011. Getting the team together, doing the, the storyboards, the production meetings, just making sure we had a whole lot of collaboration involved so we could get the best possible quality. We designed the ears from scratch. Getting those prosthetics made. We wanted to, them to look as much as possible as Wendy Penny's drawings. Right. Her ears are very particularly and beautiful. Um, they don't, I mean, human ears are, are clearly different, but they also are at a different angle, so we were dealing with all sorts of trying to get the proportions Wig right. Wig issues and, and proportions yeah. and ear pinning. But I do think they turned out. We're, we're thrilled with them. Well, we, we recreated the look very much of the, of the world, hopefully. I mean, it, it was an ambitious uh, <laughs> visual aspect, so going into it we knew um, that casting would be a challenge. Um, and so when we sort of jokingly, actually that's when we first realized we were co-fans. I made that up. Co-fans. Co we co-fans of this series mm -hmm. and the way we came together on it was through uh, the magical world of Twitter. Um, and uh, <laughs> Which we both have a love-hate relationship with and we have to love it because it gave us this project. Sure. And so Paula and I knew each other from being producers in um, new media, online content right. creators, web stuff. and. Um, then via Twitter we found out when I posted um, a panel, one of my favorite panels from ElfQuest, uh, when I was back at, at home in Vancouver visiting my parents, I was like, ElfQuest anyone? And Paula piped up right away, she's like, oh my god, I love this series! And I was like, me too, how about this picture posted on Twitter, how about this picture? The thing about ElfQuest is it hasn't had like a flagpole for fans to rally around before this. Like a lot of other comic books, you know, you have these Superman dolls and all these things, but, but it was like a hidden un underground of fandom where... And it was really hard to make connections with other people yeah, who so loved it. Yeah, when you it. did find someone that loved it, you are like, oh! But um, uh, on a low budget, indie, mm -hmm. and doing something really epic, like yeah. this with ElfQuest, where we wanted to have the attention to detail in the world uh, to do justice to what Wendy Penny has created. Right. 
Um, whew, we had our work cut we out. We ultimately had to pick a point in time and then just decided to use the characters that were around then. Mm -hmm. And actually, what we did was we um, chose a moment before the series starts to kind of introduce um, new fans, hopefully, and remind old fans of the way their world was before they were driven from the forest. So we. Character um, introduction. Character introduction, a snapshot into that world um, as the threat of their world changing emerges before they have to go on their elf quest. So hi, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am Paula Rhodes. You can find me on Twitter at, at Paula underscore Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S. And I'm Stephanie Thorpe, and my Twitter handle is at the Steph Thorpe, that's T-H-O-R-P-E. And thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll go to the website, which is www elfquestfantrailer.com and we have tons of other bonus footage there for you after you watch the trailer. <laughs> we hope that you enjoy it and love it and share it with all your friends and uh, and that we've created some new fans out of this that love the world. We hope you love it. We love bringing it to you. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.